what is going on? Welcome to another episode of the Risen Following Podcast. I am your host, Mark Hendrickson, and if you're brand new to this show, then what you can expect is open and authentic conversations about things like mental health, self-development, and how to get your life moving in the right direction. If you're not feeling good about where you are right now, at least having the confidence knowing that you are moving one step forward every single day. How we doing? Happy Monday. Hope that everyone's doing well. It is a Saturday late morning, early afternoon as I record this, chilling out in the office. Teddy's sitting on the couch, uh, just hanging around. We are, uh, yeah, we're having a good little Easter weekend here. I hope everyone else had a good Easter weekend. I know you guys are going to be listening to this after the Easter weekend, but uh, right now it is the Easter weekend, and so I am just chilling out. We're having a good time. And uh, yeah, yesterday we had a good relaxing day. We went, uh, got a massage in the morning and then um, just kind of hung out in Vancouver, spent a little bit of time with family, had an Easter dinner last night. And then, um, yeah, this morning, just been taking care of chores, did a little bike ride, did some laundry, did some reading. Uh, And now I am, uh, yeah, washing the bed sheets. They're in the laundry right now sitting down to record and um yeah it was nice kind of having the day off yesterday i i woke up and just felt like you know i felt like it was going to be a recovery day uh the reason i felt like that is because i woke up like halfway through my sleep uh at the usual time that i wake up around like four o'clock and i thought to myself you know i never really have the opportunity to uh get a full uh, night sleep. I'm usually sleeping like five hours a night, six hours a night. And so I, I was like, I got the chance to sleep in a little bit right now. I'm going to get back in bed and just, uh, sleep a couple more hours. And I end up sleeping like an extreme, uh, an, 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 um, what's the word? A lot. I ended up sleeping a lot. And so I felt really well, well, blah, blah, blah. I felt really well rested. That was a hard thing for me to say just now. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, we went for massages. Uh, we went for a little run after. Just uh, it's kind of chilled out all day, you know. Aside from the running, which uh, really was only just like a short little little run around the neighborhood here. Nothing very extreme for for uh, for me, but. You know, sometimes I have days where I feel like there should be more things done than than what I get done. And sometimes I feel like, you know, uh, obviously, I think there's a lot of the time where we struggle with, you know, the comfortability with how much we get done. You know, sometimes we we are the best at gassing each other up or gassing ourselves up, saying, like, good pat on the back, good job. You know, I worked so hard, I did so much, but really, like... We're just kind of doing uh, the things that an adult should be doing, like taking care of ourselves. And I think that a lot of us, we find that, that comfort in, uh, in, in, in being able to congratulate ourselves for just basically doing things that, we, that are essential to do in general. Like it's like, yeah, okay, we did it. Uh, it's like, okay, well, that's what you're, you need to do. So it's like really nothing to celebrate like that's kind of just like yeah that's what you're expected to do and then the other side of it is you know we never feel comfortable we never feel good we never you know we're always you know no matter how much we do or how much we achieve sometimes we're like looking at ourselves and being like fuck I could have done more I could have done better I could have done you know I uh, wasn't doing the right thing you know I think that there's that that kind of duality between you know being complacent and being comfortable or you know never being comfortable and never being happy and never being satisfied and uh and therefore never being happy either you know and i think that a lot of the time what this comes down to is is you know not really not really knowing which which uh which things we need to value in our lives not really knowing where we need to focus on or what we need to focus on. And, uh, and I think that what I mean by that is sometimes it can, you can have a day where, you know, you're spending a lot of time relaxing, you're spending a lot of time with family and you have a lot on your mind. Maybe you're thinking about doing a lot of work or some of the things that have to get done, your chores, shit around the house. 
and you find it hard to be present. You find it hard to be, um, you know, you find it hard to mentally turn off or physically just relax and just chill out. And I think that, you know, a lot of the times what we have to think about is why we, why we work so hard in the first place, or, or if you, if you struggle with this, or if you think this way, then you might have to balance it and, and sit down and think about like, what, what am I actually working so hard for? What am I actually working towards? And everyone's going to have to sit down and think about their own values, their own personal goals and beliefs and dreams. But I know for myself, I've kind of sat down and thought about a lot of the times uh, when I'm journaling and, and what I think about my future. And I think about how I want to ha- to work so hard so I could have a little bit more freedom with my time and a little bit more opportunity to enjoy uh, spending time with my family and spending time with the people that I love. And when I extrapolated that from from the dreams and goals that I've had, I realized that I can do a lot of the things that I dream about now. And, and that way, it's not always like living in the in the future of like, wow, I can't wait until I get to do this. It's more of like, wow, I get to do this. And so every opportunity I have to do this, I should just soak it in. And then on the days where you know, I don't have the opportunity to do this, I'm going to work my ass off to, to make as many days where I do have the opportunity to do this, if that makes sense to you guys. I don't know if that is just kind of something that I'm thinking about. And I think that when, we, when we're able to look at why we do what we do, we're able to enjoy and reap the benefits a lot easier when we're doing what we're doing. If that makes sense, because if you know why and and, and you go into and this comes down to kind of like intentionality, you know, if you think about why truly think about like it sounds weird to think about if you think about why you're spending time with your family when you're spending time with your family, then it kind of changes the way you think about what you're doing. If that makes sense. I don't know uh, if, if that uh you know, when you think about, okay, why am I spending time with these people? Because I want to feel connection. I want to, you know, um, I want to spend time with people that love me and I want to spend time with people that I love. I want to show them I care about them. I want to know that they care about me. I want to maybe make them laugh. I want them to make me laugh. Like a lot of the times these things come down to connection and, um, you know, feeling loved and feeling accepted for for who we are and i think that when we think about all of the reasons why we want to spend time with people and then we think about what we do when we actually spend time with them sometimes that that uh it can reflect the polar opposite because you know sometimes i i I don't know if you guys have noticed this but you know in the in the past few years especially ever since social media became you know what it is today half the time when you're spending time with people that you love People are looking down at screens like anytime there's something that, you know, we we don't know, like people have almost lost their imagination when you're like, oh, I wonder how much a grizzly bear weighs. You know, people just like instantly are like, I'll just look it up. You know, we never think about like, you know, back, you know, like I I just feel like there were so many interactions before we you would just have to guess so many things. And now we just have the answers right away. It's like literally the it's like. When you're talking to people, it's almost like you're talking to an extension of Google, you know, or chat GPT or something like that. Because it's like anytime you guys don't know the answer to something, like one of you just looks it up and it's like, cool, I'm just talking to Google at this point. Like, where's the personality? Where's the imagination? Where's the jokes? Where's the nuance? Where's the, you know, and everyone's just like, oh, I have this funny thing to show you. Instead of like before people would have like interesting things to talk about or say or funny jokes where it's like now, and even, I'm not even saying that I'm not even a part of this, like, cause I'm in the same, you know, I send memes to my friends fuck all the time. So it's like, but what is it doing to us? You know, it's like, um, I think it's just killing imagination and creativity and, and just like a piece of what we are. And I think that sometimes, uh, I think, well, I'm trying to remember why I even got on this topic, but oh, I think when we think about why we spend time with the people that we spend time with, and we think about the connections that we want to have, yet when we spend time with them, we're just looking at our screens, we're looking at our phones, and, and you know, the things that we are bonding over, the things that we are talking about, are just celebrities and people that we don't even, even know, or people that we'll never meet, people that never impact our lives, 
or we're we're talking about like videos or or memes or funny things like you know we're not even thinking about or talking about our own ideas and i think that when we think about and there's a lot of thinking but i think that when we think about the intentions behind what we're doing you know uh are you jumping on the cardio machine a treadmill a bike uh you know to just like sit there and and uh zone out and you know, maybe you are, but whatever your intention is, or are you going on there to have a good workout? Are you are you going to be intense about it? Are you going to, you know, have a certain level of intensity about anything that you do, whether you're just kind of coasting through the day or you're, you're going to be, you know, a go-getter. You're going to get after it, you know? I'm not saying which one is good and which one is bad. I'm just saying that, you know, to... I think that a lot of the times how we feel about what we do is based upon the intention that we have and then the performance that that uh, follows with it. Because if we have a certain intention of like, okay, I'm going to work my ass off today and it's going to be, you know, a day where I achieve these three things, whatever those three things could be, and then you have a kind of a nonchalant day where you're just kind of coasting around and, you know... It, it, you've let yourself become a victim to whatever circumstances happen throughout the day and you don't achieve whatever you achieve, then you're going to feel out of whack. You're going to feel out of balance because you had a certain intention and then the actual um, process of of what unfolded was uh, the complete polar opposite of that. You know, and the, the exact same thing can happen on the other side of it as well, where, you know, sometimes you intend to have, okay, I'm going to have a relaxing day. I'm going to actually rest and recover and recuperate. I'm going to actually chill today because I rarely get to do that. And then you you end up having like kind of a, a stressful, intense day where you just have to focus on solving problems and, and uh, you know, you're basically just like pissing out fires left, right and center, trying to fix everything. And, uh, and the exact same thing can happen. You're going to feel misaligned because you had a certain intention. And then obviously the, the plans, the ex- expectations that you had were not met. And so then, then you feel out of whack, you feel misaligned. And so I think that a lot of this comes down to your intentions. And, and again, this comes down a lot to mindfulness and, and having some sort of a, ref- a, of a reflective process of being able to look at your own thoughts and expectations and then your reactions to the events that happen with those expectations and that kind of sounds like a lot of like verbal diarrhea i don't know if uh that makes sense to everybody i'm just kind of going off the top of my head here and and just uh reflect i'll have to reflect on this after but i think that uh, i think that a lot of the time there's a huge difference between um what we intend and what we expect. And I think um, maybe that's something that we have to explore in and of itself is that kind of the difference between having intentions to do something or having expectations for things to just happen. And I think that sometimes, I think sometimes what we, when we're looking at expectations, we're thinking about the actual end result and when we're looking at the intentions, we're looking at the actual process. And I think that a lot of the time when we have a certain expectation, we're looking for a certain outcome. We're looking for something to happen or we're looking to receive something or to get something. Then that can lead to uh, like a certain level of disappointment when we don't have those things met, when we don't have those expectations met. Whereas when we have intentions to create something, intentions to change something, intentions to improve something, then as long as the intention is set and and there's actual action towards that intention, then the disappointment can only come really from within where it's like, okay, I know I didn't try my best. My intentions weren't there. Or, or, you know, maybe it's like we haven't gotten to the, the end result that we like yet but we're still moving forward. And so you can feel good about, you know, the, the forward progress, the intent that you've had that will uh, push you closer to whatever you're looking for. And so uh, at the risk of just kind of going on and on forever here, I'm just going to let this one end pretty quick here. But uh, yeah, welcome uh, to, to the week. Happy Monday. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, if you found that interesting, if you found that helpful, if you... Uh, 
didn't tune out at all during that or maybe you did i don't know if you want to share this with somebody please do share this with somebody like subscribe and uh, comment on youtube share this uh, podcast episode leave a little review five stars and uh yeah write a little comment on spotify on app podcast and uh on that note much love peace out love you all you beautiful human beings i'll see you on thursday goodbye